He's always quickest to the breakdown, so effective in this aspect of the game. Now, let's talk about Queens as a club. So, pretty recent champions of the Aviva, won the thing, gone close before that and since then. But this season, they've been brilliant in patches and you've sort of flattered to deceive in patches where it hasn't quite hit your straps at times. What do you think it needs to bind it all together and actually challenge for that title again? Um, well, it's not through one of trying, as you know, Flats, you know, you go through sticky patches, but you know, clearly in Europe, we've been quite successful, you know, mm. we're, we're top of the table in, you know, in a tough group. And it's just in the league, you know, getting that consistency. And it's mainly been down to ball in hand stuff. You know, we haven't been accurate enough with us. And it, it's not really sort of contact skills, if you like, yeah. just catching and passing, which, yeah. you know, stalls momentum when you're trying, trying to put teams under pressure. But what we've got to do is stay true to um, what we're about. You know, we like to play the game quickly. We like, you know, tempo into our game. We like to be ambitious as well. We like to challenge teams. We've just got to stick with what we know, what we're good at, what we all buy into, because that's, you know, essentially what won us the trophies when we were winning them. We're making mistakes being quite conservative. Yeah. So it's like, well, you might as well go out there and you know give it a shot if you're going to do something yeah. like that. And then when they start sticking, confidence comes, and you, yeah. you know that's um, that's gold dust in professional sport, as you well know. You've got to have a proper crack, haven't you? Repeatedly, yeah. and it's got to come off. That's, yeah, exactly. that's where it comes from. You don't just so like, walk in at half time, get some yeah. confidence, and walk back just out. Go, I can do this. I can do the backhand <laughs> pass, no. the chip and chase. No, yeah. exactly. You get a cup of tea, not a cup of confidence. <laughs> you've got Leicester Tigers coming up at the stoop. Massive game could be pivotal in your league season. So how do you guys approach that? I remember when I went playing for Bath, it was that was always kind of, everyone said it was just another game, but the reason that was the only week they ever said that is because Leicester seemed to be the most important game. What's it like for you guys? Do you have that sort of rivalry with them or is it actually just another massive game for you boys? Recently we have had that rivalry. Clearly we played them in the final. We've had some cracking games with them and uh, we've had We've got quite a good record in you know recent past against them as well, and I think Leicester have always been the benchmark, haven't they? You know, throughout periods of you know Wasps had dominance for a while. Um, you know, Leicester no always there. Right? Yeah, Northampton obviously last season, but Leicester always there or thereabouts. I think last year was the first time in ten years they made the final. It just shows that consistently they're top performers. Yeah. Everyone raises the game against them, and that's something they've got to deal with. But we're not really bothered with that because we we know when we do raise our levels, we've been quite successful. So it's another one to look forward to. Mate, good luck to you. Hope it goes well. Cheers, mate. Thanks. Thanks.